It's Saturday morning. Two more days of this. Saturday is usually our busy day. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't know if we'll live to see the evening. <laughs> I need more pop. Good morning. I'm gonna do this while I eat my granola bar and drink my pop this morning. It's about 8.30 on Saturday morning. Yesterday, no, I need chocolate on. Yesterday was probably the busiest Friday I've ever seen at this festival. By far, this is my 20th, so that's saying something. It was insane. Um, if you don't know by now, Big Joe and Malia rolled into Breer yesterday evening. Well, it was during the day. They were out here before the festival closed. It's really weird seeing them here. I never thought I would see them here. Um, I think they like it. They're like, like we were talking last night about the vibe in town, how chill everybody is, and Malia said, this is the artsiest, farsiest place I've ever been to. <laughs> and it is, there's a lot here, there's a lot here. Um, they've not even been to Old Town or the Artisan Center or anything yet, so they've only seen like maybe a third. Who's this? I hope we're bringing pop. Oh, that's Ben. I bet they're either bringing hay or cedar chips because they know the rain's coming. And one thing we do when it rains, they put down plywood and hay, cedar chips. Keep you from getting wet. Now this is my favorite time at the festival and that's before it opens in the morning because it's quiet. And you can walk around and see everything. And this might be my only chance to actually show you any of the festival because I've been <laughs> swamped this year. So. We're gonna come down and take a look at everybody. Everybody's getting set up. Now there's probably a question going through some of y'all's minds and that's what happens out here at night? Cause everything gets left. We're not in town, we're out in the woods, but we have people who camp out here. We have, we have a killer security bunch out here and they keep an eye on things overnight and keep the people out and Chase off the bears. And really, the crew who runs this, especially the parking lot people, the security people, and then like Melissa and Cass and all those who have the task of getting everybody in and out of here, their vehicles and things in the course of a couple of hours. It's amazing. I like things that are organized, and this is an extremely organized place. Now, Malia said they were shooting to be here around 9.30. I passed their hotel on the way here. Their truck was still there. I figured they might already be at dinner bell eating. <laughs> we went last night and walked around College Square a bit and then went and hung out at Josh and Izzy's house and talked for a while. I didn't think I'd live to see the day, but it is Josh and Joe standing on the same porch. And Izzy, Malia's gonna jump on the trampoline. <laughs> and then I went home and died. I haven't got to say hi to you all yet. We couldn't get out of that tent yesterday. <laughs> How you doing? Y'all know I love pottery. There's some awesome pottery out here. It's got a deer horn.
morning. This is parking lot one. This ain't the only parking lot. As you can tell, it's already filling up and we are an hour from opening the gate. We're actually more than an hour. I don't think it's nine o'clock yet. We're looking at a busy day. We'll probably have a rush and then rain and then another rush. If I'm gonna guess how this went on. Look at that basket she's got, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna come. Oh, now that is some pretty pottery too. I don't know who they are. The design ain't up yet, but. You look so alone. <laughs> I'm sad. You won't be alone for long. <laughs> look at that. Now, not all the booths are open yet, because, like I said, we're an hour from the gate opening. But we're going to walk up back through here and see what's here. Make our way back up to my tent. about time for everybody to start rolling in up there to get everything ready for the day. Morning. See, we walk through this loop over here. And that's the thing about the festival, there's the main trail that's blacktop and then there's little loops that cut off to the side that have more artists. There's over a hundred here this year. I don't know exactly how many. And there's a lot of new people here this year. And that's never a bad thing. And that gazebo is my happy place. Y'all have seen me vlog for been there before. <laughs> there she is. So I got to talking and turned the camera off and there's people at the tent waiting on me. Well, they know I'm here. My car's back there, so. Hopefully, I'll get a break at some point today and get to vlog some more while the tents are open. If not, I know Big Joe and Malia are coming today to vlog. And it's just tickling me that they like Berea. I told you it was going to happen. We just had a rainstorm. And we are standing here with our fronts in the tent and our backs out of the tent, because this is how we roll. <laughs> so my back is completely soaked and my front is completely dry. It's an interesting feeling. <laughs> you see, our tent fills up when it rains. Sunday. It's the last day of the festival. I'm still alive. I can't feel my feet, but I'm still alive. Um, I've not been able to vlog this like I wanted to, which I knew that might be the case. We have probably had the busiest festival I've ever worked. Like I've said before, this was my 20th festival, so. The big rabbit out there in the road. I don't know if you see it or not. Anyway, um, we had some rain yesterday, which actually didn't cause that big of a problem. We've had some rain overnight, and it looks like we got some rain coming about 15 minutes. So I'm hoping I can get out here and get walked up this hill and get to the tent before the rain comes. It's been windy this morning. That worries me a little bit, because 
half my booth might be blowed off into the woods. We did pretty good weighing things down before we left last night. You can tell my voice is going out. I've talked nonstop since Thursday. It really ain't all that different for me, I don't guess. I talk nonstop anyway, but here we are. I'm gonna try to get out and show y'all some of the booths today if I get a chance. I don't think we're gonna be as busy because even if we don't get the rain, it's in the forecast and that will scare people away. And one thing about the fe this festival, the weather can be perfect here, but if it's raining in Lexington or Cincinnati, like north of here, it tends to hurt our attendance because people just see that and they don't come. Um, Sunday is a little more mellow, calm day anyway, so hopefully I'll get out and show you some of the booths. I didn't wear a hat. I look like a holler rat this morning, don't I? <laughs> The tent is destroyed <laughs> this morning from the wind. Um, it's not as bad as it was. There was a pole down that held the tent up. These things fell and there are art projects scattered throughout the woods and poor cats <laughs> so far picking them up. <laughs> I gave her a magnet though. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and Dalton got a sticker, what he always wanted. <laughs> My car's down there behind the stage, and I'm pretty sure I left my pop in it because I can't find it. And I really don't want to walk down here and get it, but I ain't gonna make it through the morning unless I have caffeine. I'll get it. Don't worry about me. I will get it. Don't worry about me. I got it. Yeah, we got a big part of the tent cleaned up. You know, we lost a couple poles. It uprooted the flags. There are pieces of collage all over the place. <laughs> that we're gonna have to pick up, and they're wet. It was wet. We laid chairs on everything and stuff last night. I reckon the wind got up worse than I realized. And it's windy today too, so. It's gonna be an interesting day keeping everything on the table. So the tent is just about put back together. I need to walk down here and give Melissa a receipt before things get too crazy this morning. I had to go buy more supplies last night. Probably told y'all that already. The wind is coming in gusts. Like there's a little breeze and all of a sudden, whoosh, it's gonna be a really interesting day today. There's the lemonade man. I'm good, this wind dies down though. <laughs> This could be a fun, fun day. And if I'm gonna buy anything while I'm out here this weekend, I probably need to do it early on. I don't think I told you, my pop was in my car. So if my voice holds up and our tent don't blow down, it's gonna be a good day. And you know what? It's gonna be a good day regardless. It's always a good day in the woods. All right, this is Sarah from Texas. This is her first year out here at our festival and we're excited to have her. She actually volunteered on Spur of the Moment to help with the kids booth. What'd you think? It was tons of fun. I learned new art and salt, salt painting, so I had a blast. And what do you think about Brie overall? Uh, I kind of like it a lot. And you're gonna come back? I'm coming back. We'll that see. Was the whole point of all this. We'll get to see you yeah. next year. Thank you so much yeah, for your help this year. It's been a blast. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, we have survived another festival. As you can see, everybody, is he backing out? Oh, uh, y'all go ahead. Okay. They're gonna nose down. Everybody's packing out. And it, to me, this is the most amazing part of it. By, it's like 5.30ish right now. By eight o'clock tonight, you would never know anything happened out here except for some hay. It's pretty wild. We need to get over here out of the road. Let's wait. This is the chaos, but it's really not. It's very organized. It's it amazes me. But we're going down to the ticket booth to tell everybody bye, and I got somebody wanting my business card and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd just show all this part of it. People don't see this part of a festival very often. There's poor old Cass. Not a lick of sense in her head. See how she's concentrating? That's why I'm not talking to her right now. For all intents and purposes, our tent is cleaned up and all I gotta do is pack myself to my car, which is behind the stage up at the amphitheater. So we're good to go. See, there's already people completely out of here. It's already looking so different over there's where I ate at today in that bush. Not really, the Cajun truck was over there. Their food was great and really fast. And none of us will see each other until next year. We always say this is kind of like summer camp for adults. Not all of us live in the same place, so we don't get to see each other all the time until it's time for the festival. Exactly. And I'm gonna stop right here. This is how you end a festival in Kentucky properly. There's what's left of the tent. <laughs> it's kind of sad to look at it on Sunday. Luckily, I don't have to take this tent down. I don't have to haul off anything else that's in the tent. I, we need to move that garbage out here at some point, but they can pick everything else up. So we're done other than that pile of crap sitting back there has got to go to my car, which is down over the hill. But it's kind of sad. Let's take one more look. It is kind of sad, ain't it? In the arms of an angel. Well, this has been some weekend. It's, I would not be surprised if once all was said and done, we found out the whole weekend was a record breaker wouldn't surprise me a bit of course here comes Peggy as soon as I hit record right yeah but it was nice to have the festival again it was nice to see people again it was good to be out in the woods and tiredness always passes and then all you remember is the good times that you had and that's what I'm waiting on because now I plan on laying in this bed and going into a coma for three or four days but thank you all for watching all three parts of my series about the craft fair. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing good. I'll talk to you later. Good night.